it feels really good to sweat. <sighs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel for my first workout video, uh, fitness video, fitness, health. Welcome back to my channel for my first health workout fitness video of 2022. If this is your first time here and you have not seen any of my other fitness challenges, my name is Kayla and I make a lot of different content like motherhood, product reviews, lifestyle vlogs, but my favorite videos to make are actually fitness challenges. So last year I did a bunch of Chloe Ting's challenges. So I will be sure to link all of those in the description box if you want to go back and watch them. This year I'm hoping to again do some more Chloe challenges but to do other types of health and fitness content. I will get into that later in the video. I'm going to start her 2022 28 day weight loss challenge. I think that's what it's called. Uh, so I'm feeling really excited because I need to get back into working out. Like it's not a want, it's a need. Later in the video, I'm going to put in a little segment of me talking about my 2022 health, fitness, and workout goals, as well as some ideas for other challenges I want to do this year. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I am going to get into this workout. I'm scared for how sore I'm going to be tomorrow, but I am excited to... That brings up a good point. You are probably going to hear slash see my one-year-old Simon in this video because he is always around. He is right here, right now. If you're here for the baby content. There's plenty of that too. But yeah, I am going to get going on this challenge. So I hope you stick around. We've said our goodbyes, but we won't go home just yet. You've got your head down, just like when we first met. I can't believe it's ending. Why did we fuck it up? So stupid and upsetting. How can I give you up? We've said I'm
right guys, so that was week one of the challenge. Today is day eight, so I am about to go work out, but I wanted to just pop on here quick and talk about how the first week went and also kind of what my fitness goals and my workout goals and my health goals, what are those looking like for the coming year for 2022, especially as it pertains to YouTube and my channel. So the first week went pretty well. I'm definitely a bit disappointed with myself because if you haven't seen any of my Chloe workouts from last year, I did a lot and I got so much stronger and now I definitely, the weakness is so apparent, especially with like arms and core. Just anything that requires me to like be up on my arms, I feel so weak and that is truly when I feel my worst. I am happy that I am a week in and I will say that this program overall is a little bit easier than other Chloe programs because every single day is 30 minutes. So whether it's three 10 minute videos or 120 and 110, two 15s, 30 minutes every day. Whereas other Chloe programs, you never know what you're getting until you open the workout for that day. Like sometimes there's like an hour's worth of workouts. That's not typical, but sometimes. That has made it a little less intimidating as I'm like jumping back into working out because I know, okay, 30 minutes and then I still have time to like shower and get some work done while my son is napping. So, so yeah, we're gonna finish the full 28 days. The reason that I'm uploading this now, I'm still going to upload the full results of the month program. Like right now, I'm not talking any results. The reason that I wanted to upload this first week is just because it's the beginning of the year. A lot of people are making resolutions for like fitness goals, weight loss goals, health goals, and I am wary of doing that just because I've had, I can't even believe how many years of my life have been spent with, I'm going to lose weight this year, or I'm going to hit this number this year. And I've tried to hate my body into weight loss more times than I can count on January 1st. I don't want to do that this year. So this year, I don't have a specific number in mind. All I know is that I want to be healthier. I want to feel better right now. I don't feel good. Um, I want to lose weight. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to lose weight if you are not happy with your current weight. And if, especially if you are overweight and you're not feeling healthy and you're not feeling good and you want to lose weight, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So my goal is to just try and work towards getting to a place where my body could handle and would do well being pregnant because we do want to have more kids and we do have to kind of start thinking about it if we don't want them to have a very large age gap and right now there's just no way like just pregnancy took a really big toll on my body especially near the end when I had gained quite a bit of weight and I have not lost that weight yet and if I were to get pregnant now it would just be such a stressful pregnancy one because I would be so scared to gain more weight and two I just can only imagine how hard it would be on my on my bones and my joints and my muscles because they don't feel that good now and I'm not pregnant so that is improving my diet. I'm not like, I'm not doing keto. I'm not starting Weight Watchers. I'm like, no shame to you if you do those things. I'm just trying to be like, okay, I feel like crap when I eat this way. And so I'm gonna try really hard to eat a different way. <laughs> You know, I want to consistently work out. Right now I'm doing clothing, but I, I want to start going for more walks. I really want to somehow, some way get back into running. I do want to do a lot of like health and fitness challenges this year. And so that's why I'm coming to you guys. Let me know in the comments what you would love to see as a fitness challenge or a health challenge. It doesn't have to be a workout because in my head right now, I'm thinking obviously I'm gonna do Chloe Ting challenges 
they're fun they're fun to watch and they're fun to do i would love to do like a dance workout challenge everything is up for debate like is it 10 days 15 days 21 days a month but i would love to do like 21 days of like dance workouts or something like that just to you know switch it up a little bit like a jump rope challenge i got so into jump roping a couple years ago and it was so fun and i really really loved it but right now oh my god i can't imagine how hard that would be for my body um i would love to do like a gallon of water a day challenge for like 10 days or two weeks or something and i would really love to see the way a water challenge would improve my skin like maybe a 10,000 step a day challenge i was so into my fitbit for the longest time i was like die hard about getting 10,000 steps a day honestly don't even want to guess how many steps i get a day now like i work out but other than that it's pretty much just simon and i in our tiny house especially days like today where it's five degrees we're not going for a walk sorry a big one that i really want to do is a running challenge i have st started and failed this challenge probably three times within the last year i want to do like a mile a day for 30 days and this one means the most to me because i talked about this like a billion times but i ran a marathon in 2015 and that was the absolute height of my athleticism that was the most challenging thing i've ever worked for i was so proud of myself like literally running that marathon changed my entire outlook on myself and my life and then i just like stopped running i ran a hat i ran a turkey trot after that and i ran a half marathon and uh in 2019 i got back up to like five miles a day and since then nothing like ugh, it just kind of sucks like i that one means the most to me running is really like my end goal is to get back into being a runner so insurmountable right now in my current state like this is the year i'm gonna complete a running challenge putting it out and the last thing that i actually started today is a i don't know how long i'm gonna do it for i have two weeks in my brain uh two weeks no added sugar so like i'll still eat fruit i'm sure a lot of people understand this after the holidays it's just like sugar overload i definitely went hard on the candy and the baked goods during the holidays and i i don't regret that because honestly i did not go as hard as i have in previous years i feel so so beyond lethargic, fatigued, uh, like weighted down. And I'm not saying like I'm never gonna eat sugar again because that's just totally unrealistic. And honestly, my husband and I eat a lot of Thai food and Thai food has sugar in it. So I'm not even trying to pretend like I'm going whole 30 on this. I just really want to be conscious of every single thing I pick up for the next two weeks. I think it will just force me to just for even just two weeks to take a second before I put something in my mouth and think about what I'm actually eating. I went to like a nutritional therapist and she really put me on this path of intuitive eating. That's what I've been trying to do honestly for like years now. Um, I'm not that good at it. And honestly, I think a lot of people who have been like dieting their whole lives or who have like had problems with food, like uh, overeating or binging or anything like that. It's so silly to think like, oh, I'm just gonna eat when I'm hungry. Like, duh, if it was that easy, I would have been doing it my whole life. I hope I'm communicating all this, but basically what I'm trying to say is that I do feel like sugar is incredibly addictive for me and I never just like have a suitable fine amount of it it's always like too much and so for me just saying okay for two weeks i'm gonna try to not eat added sugar it's just gonna force me to like be way more conscious of what i'm eating what i'm putting in my body so that's where i'm at if you stayed and watched this whole video i really hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i am devoting myself to a year of staying on track with content and not all of it is going to be health and fitness related but a lot of it will be so if you like that i really hope that you will subscribe to my channel 
for that purpose. And like I said earlier, if you have any ideas for like good fitness challenges, let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new ideas. And I will catch up with you soon. As soon as I finish this sugar challenge and or Chloe Ting challenge, they will probably both have videos and they will be up within the next couple of weeks. So thank you for watching. I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.